James. I'm coming to see the gentleman in the Rose Club to get my beard trimmed. So, Mr. Rayfield here is having a beard trim. We'll tidy up. So, he's got a really curly beard. He's got really coarse hair. And when you look at the beard from this point of view, you're going to think to yourself, this is too, tra too, too transparent. So the transparency on the beard here is quite thin here. Really, in an ideal world, what I do is I take it right up there and that would make it look really thick and healthy, but he wants to keep the length. So I'm gonna tidy it up as best I can. I'm gonna take in the weight on the sides. We're gonna trim up the moustache. And we're gonna tidy up the line through the cheeks. Do a little bit of the ear hair and go around and do the neck hair. So, like I always do, pull it out from the sides. Pull it out from the sides, just trying to find its natural movement. It's really curly this beard and if you've got a really curly beard what you want to do when you style it is make sure you do or when you trim it if you're trimming it yourself make sure you pull it out a little bit but not too far because when you push that back in you'll end up with big dips in it so like we've done in previous beard trims backhand front hand not changing the sitting position keeping my position as i am so i'm not looking at it from different angles when i try to get different sides of it and then you end up with a lopsided beard how many miles have you traveled today james 90, 90 miles for a beard trim that's not bad is it so you can see that i'm holding my clippers at this angle so I'm really only using the heel of the blade just the corner of the blade and then slicing down rather than coming in flat in flat in flat I'm actually just using the corner of the blade and just skimming the edge of the beard so only using literally the first sort of three or four teeth on the blade so just come in skim it skim the edges I never really unless I do the front I'm not really using the whole section of the blade so one control, I want to be able to control. I can, I can slice through the beard, taking the weight out of it. You take off less, but that means you've got more control. Yeah, when was your last beard trim? Where? When? Uh, about two months ago. Really? Yeah, they didn't do a very good job. Of it. it wasn't down. Because if you had taken it slowly, it wouldn't be so thin. No. You would like always keep catching up. Exactly. That, At the moment, for... it's still quite tra it's still quite see through. Yeah. Until I wear, unless I wear a black top, it it looks alright. See, this if I wear a white top, it just looks straggling. This is this is where it needs to be. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, just cut it off. It, it will feel weird because it used to yeah. sit that long. But it will look, it will look so look, much healthier. Look much bigger and yeah, you cut it to where you think. Okay, mate. Yeah. I'm obviously freehanding this. I'm ar yeah, ar arch arching round at the corners. James, James normally has a square, quite a really square beard, but actually it looks a lot thicker with a little bit of roundness to it, just taking that corner off. Look up. I see already this underneath section has caught up with the front of your beard. So the bit that you were saying, you know, you had a bit of hair on the side here, you want to be able to tie back, tie up. You can still tie this up because it's still long enough. And ultimately, you know, if your beard looks wispy, it looks like you haven't looked after it. 
and it looks like you can't grow a proper beard. Yeah. So it's about sacrificing a little bit of the length yeah. to make it look much, much healthier. Girth's better than length, isn't it? Girth is much better than length. Mm. On the moustache, what we're going to do to keep with the fullness, I want to keep the length but just to create a little bit of interest and shape. I'm just going to go in. I'll just give that little V shape in there just so that it opens up a little bit. It's easier for him to work with at home. When you push it out, you get more of a moustache shape. And then when you want to wear it, wear it flat, you can still see your lips and you can still drink coffee and eat food. And, you know, you can still have that big moustache, big moustache and have the ability to eat and drink without it getting everywhere. So it's a good tip. Just keeping that V shape in the front. So when it comes to styling it, it's about putting the product in and molding it rather than what a lot of people do when it's dry if you put just if you just put oil in this now and, and then you just molded it like that or a bit of balm it would just stay like that a lot of people do is they brush it all out and then they try and reshape it well what was there's no point to that unless it's wet and then you're drying it if it's dry already and you just put in product in just just push it in and allow the, the beard to be the shape that it is so there's a little bit under there, just want to get that. So if you're at home and you're shaping up your own, your own beard and you're lining it, what a lot of people do is they use foam still. But I think if you use a transparent gel like we're using here. So if you use a gel, you put it on. The main thing that you can do is see what you're doing. So if you, if you foam up and you're using a foam, then you're going in with a cut throat or you're going in with a blade and you can't see your line you're shaving blind but here we don't want to shave blind we want to be able to see that i want to be able to see the line and i want to be able to pull up the skin come in with my blade it's about letting the blade do the work as well so it's not you don't, you're, not, you're, not, you're not pushing too hard So this is Beard Brand. This is the what we do the video for. So you've got the Beard Brand oil, balm, um, and you've got the, ra the styling range. But on you, you need a balm, like 100%. When it's wet, oil, dry the oil in a little bit balm to finish so yours isn't wet so we'll use the balm really really nice consistency just don't use very much and it goes a really long way like how shiny it's made my hands so it goes a long long way Put some free hair. See, it stops your hair from going fluffy as well. You, my friend, had a beard, son. You are done. Happy with that decision? Very happy. It looks good, man. It looks sick. It looks good, mate. Now that you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products over on our shop. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to do that. And finally, keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.